into the stretch of the Super Derby. Inside, the Picket Factor digs in. Center of the track, Mobile Bay is coming on resolutely. Mobile Bay taking command. The Picket Factor, Chalk Apology, Allied Air Raid. It's Mobile Bay, the Super Derby winner. Look back at last year's Super Derby. This year's renewal comes on Saturday as we look forward to Louisiana Downs' biggest race day of the meet. A guaranteed pick four at $100,000. It starts with race number eight at 418 Eastern Time, 118 Pacific. And this is a very challenging sequence. And you saw Mobile Bay, Mobile Bay winning last year's Super Derby. Well, he's racing this year, and obviously not in the Super Derby. He'll be actually racing on the grass in the unbridled stakes, the third leg of this late pick four. Here's my ticket. You're going to want some coverage in these races, folks, because there is the even the favorites are going to be around the three to one, seven to two range when you look at the first three races, especially. And I think you can see that in the grade three Super Derby. So a twenty seven dollar ticket for this all stakes pick four on Super Derby Day at Louisiana Downs, starting with the Sunday silent stakes. Two-year-olds going a mile on the turf course. Hembry is the uh, morning line favorite. That is the six horse for Joe Sharp. Broke his maiden going five and a half furlongs at Saratoga, coming from off the pace for Ken and Sarah Ramsey. The Keeneland grad uh, was 12 to one that day and now is going to be asked to stretch out. You absolutely have to include Hembry in your ticket. I think the two horse makes a lot of sense. Gentlemen, gentlemen, uh, based on his pedigree, he's by Yankee gentlemen. They get he gets 15% winners on the grass course, and he is unbeaten. And he gets to play at home, so it's six to one. This is his home course. He's never tried grass, but now they're going to take this opportunity to take on Stakes Company on the grass. And he did win a Louisiana bred stake back on August 6th. And the horse on the outside that I like. Uh, as one of my top plays on Saturday is Kilbasa with Richard Aramia ri uh, riding for Twin Magnolia Farm and trainer Lonnie Wiggins. This gelding by City Zip was sterling in his debut at Arlington, and he has the two-turn turf experience to lean on. He's going to have to overcome an outside post. You would ideally like him to see to see him mid-pack or, or further in, but if Kilbasa can run back to that debut with the foundation that he has with that eight furlong race under his belt. I think he's a major player and one of my top selections for Saturday. So I'll go three deep in leg number one, two, six, 11. Race number nine, the River City Stakes. This is for Phillies and Mares, three and up at a mile and a 16th on turf. And we'll take a look at this field, one, nine, and 10, my plays. See the cat is three to one. Joe Bravo could have a huge day on Saturday at Louisiana Downs. Uh, she's my top selection. She comes out of state bred races in New York. She was recently second at Saratoga going a mile on the turf course. And, and again, she's got an outside draw. So that's something that she's going to have to overcome for a filly that likes to be close to the pace. But you absolutely have to include her in your ticket. The one horse working backwards for Brett Calhoun artistic license. She's won her last five races. They've come on grass between Lone Star and Remington. She's been odds on in all of them. She will not be odds on on Saturday, but she's just a straight up winner. How can you leave a horse off your ticket regardless of who she's beating at Lone Star and Remington that has won five races in a row? So I'll use her and then I'll also use the outside horse, the number 10 horse, My Love ben, uh, Venezuela, Jose Valdivia riding for Brad Cox. She beat Open Company as the favorite in a two other than at Indiana Grand in her last race, and she's a daughter of Scat Daddy. The unbridled stakes, race number 10, three-year-olds and up, going a mile and a 16th. Mentioned Mobile Bay, last year's Super Derby winner. He's part of this race. That's the two horse for Victor Arsenault. He's been a little bit off form though, and he has won on the grass in the past. He's won for two lifetime as we take you back to his win last year. Uh, this was not a surprise when Edgar Prado shipped his tack into town, and Edgar rode him a few more times after that. They also won the Zia Park Derby in late November. Uh, he's had some decent races this year. He won the Maxim Gold Cup on dirt, but he's primarily been a dirt horse. Uh, seven of his eight victories have come on dirt. His recent turf try, he was beaten by DeBig Haas and Kaigen, so he's a little overmatched in the John B. Conley at uh, Sam Houston, but uh, still, I, I'm, I just don't know where he is at at this point in his uh, four-year-old campaign. 
but I'll go 10, 11, and 12 in that race, led by Allied Air Raid, a midshipman gelding who's trying turf for the first time. When you see midshipman and grass, just think lady shipman. And in race number 11, the Super Derby, grade three event, the two horse Motom for Tom Amos, recent winner of the half a million dollar Ohio Derby. He's, we know his style. He's gonna drop anchor, lay back, and make a run. And there's Joe Bravo again with a live mount on Saturday at Louisiana Downs. He's been very consistent. Forget about his Kentucky Derby effort and look at his last race and the races prior. He has found himself with some trouble. He brought $150,000 at the Keeneland September sale in 2014 for GMB Racing. And he's a son of Uncle Mo, who's won four of nine lifetimes. So he's a classy horse looking for another great at stakes win. But Dalmore to me is the play in this race. He beat Dans and Candy on the square in the grade three affirmed stakes. They tried him in the grade one Pacific Classic, three-year-old taking on older horses and some of the best older horses in the world. He was fifth behind California Chrome, Beholder, and Dortmund and Opportunity. So forgive him for that. That fifth place finish was a success in my opinion. But you go back to his affirmed effort. He settles just off the pace. He's gonna have the jump on the favorite Mo Tom and Kent DeSormo is in town to ride on Saturday. I think everything is coming up uh, aces for Dalmore for Big Chief Racing. Another horse that Keith DeSormo acquired for Big Chief for really pennies on the dollar when you get down to what it takes to pick up grade three wins in this game. He spent just 47,000 to acquire this Colonel John Colt back in 2014 at the Keeneland September sale. So I really like Dalmore to bounce back with a strong effort picking up a win in the Grade 3 Super Derby. Make sure you tune in on Saturday and make sure you play the All Stakes Pick 4 from Louisiana Downs at TVG.com.